Hello, you are welcome to this YouTube channel. This is I Blessing Up. Alright, this is the first video. This is the first general video in a while. And um, I would like you to please share this video with your friends and on your status so other people can benefit from it. And don't forget to like the video as well. Like it, it helps us, it helps you to recommend um, the video to others. All right, and subscribe if you're a new member. New members, you are welcome to this channel. You are welcome to this channel. We promise to release more um, inspiring and educating videos on how to create great designs on your smartphone. All right, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to measure all designs in pixel art for printing. How to measure all designs in pixel art for printing. All right, this is a design on my screen. This is a tracked design. I created this from scratch everything on pixel app this is the size i use this is the image size i use and this is an this is an a5 size it's an a5 size i'll show you how i got this size and it's very accurate go on your go to your printer that has them let them calculate it it's very accurate it's very accurate all right so um let's get started Right, this is a square. This is a square size on Pixel Lab. This is the default size that we have on Pixel Lab. Let's say we want to, uh, we are creating a design. For instance, I want to create a tracked design, like I, like you just saw earlier on. I want to create a tracked design, and we are going to be working with an A5 um, portrait, an A5 portrait size. So this is my size image size. When you click on this three dots here. Go to image side. This is our default image size 1280 with 1280 right? and I want to create a, a portrait um, an A5 size. Look at it, click on this, try to look for it. You see, there's not here, there's no A5, no A4, A3, A6, there's nothing like that on um, Pixel Lab. All right, so what you're gonna do is to make use of your Google. All right, make use of your Google. First of all, this is the first step, one of the first. Um, steps i use in um creating my standard um size one of the first step i use in getting my standard size of pixel lab all right so this is a5 when you're looking for a5 size you do a5 size in pixels because measurements in pixel lab is calculated in pixels nothing like feet nothing like um a5 nothing like a4 we just checked it not that on photoshop i know but in pixel lab it's calculated in pixels so you have to know that a5 size in pixels all right so this is a5 size so we go to search for it a5 size in pixels all right so you can see we have um 2480 by what 1748 all right 2480 by 1748 this is the standard size get the first one is 2480 copy and so the other one is 1748 copy also so once that's done i'm going to go to pixel lab and input the value we just saw all right the first value we saw right there was um 248 2480 all right 2480 2480 is going to be on the um height height 2480 is going to be on the height why well, want to 1748 is going to be on the width we are creating a portrait kind of design all right but this is the height here in a5 portrait height is longer than the than the width all right let's see it you can see this is the this is the height right here and this is the width and then if you're working with a5 landscape you should know that there is a little bit tweak in it so this one will be for the 2480 and this one will go for the 1748 because this is the a5 but it is the landscape a5 you can start making your designs on it okay let's say the the design we're making it is said to be a4 you're making a design let's say the design is a4 and letter designs are always in a4 size so let's go on google again and search for a4 a4 size in pixels all right you can see 
the screen resolution is 7 to 22 dpi all right and the um print resolution which is the standard resolution for printing is 2480 pixels by 3504 pixels get the figures copy all right copy so this goes to your image size again then for your width for your width you, you give it Width you give it 2480 and for your eyes you make it 3508. So this is your standard A4 size for printing. And if you are making a landscape A4, then you have to know that the width will be longer, it will have much value compared to the height. That's because it's what it's going to be landscape. But right here, this one is a portrait, okay? So that's why you have been uh, the height is more. 3508 than the width. So, what if we are making use of a, a this? You have this is going to be more, and the height is going to be lesser. All right, you can see it. That's what A4 you can see. This is A4 landscape. All right, so once once you have that, okay, let's say a client tells you to make a banner design for them, and as you know, banner design most times are calculated in um in feet in feet most of most banner designs 95 percent of banner designs are calculated in in feet so you know we also looked at um the the um we looked at the options we don't have feet we don't have inches you have nothing else so go straight to your your google again go to your chrome browser and then i will not tell you this is a specific website i, I use different websites in time pass some of them some of them have i can recommend accurate ones most accurate ones in them in them Let, let's try it out okay let's say we're well, creating a design for 25 feet 25 feet 25 feet um size 25 feet to pixels always make sure you put to pixels remember our measurements in pixel lab is not in feet it's not in inches it's in pixels so you can see the various types of websites here where you can convert your feet to pixels. Alright, see Justin tools, various, you can convert your feet, vectorretention.eu also. Units convert, I recommend it so much, I've used it before. You see different types. But the one I'll be making use of for the sake of tutorial and I recommend it so much because I use it is Justin tools. Justin tools.com, click on Justin tools.com then um let's convert this is one feet right here it's one feet is one one five two in pixels one one five two one feet is one 1152 in pixels okay, let's say we want to work with what i said 25 feet 25 feet is you convert it 25 feet is equals to 2880 in pixels 28800 in pixels all right and then let's say um the height is 15. probably i'm making a banner for instance 15 feet convert it and see 15 feet is what one seven one seven two eight zero in pixel so go go straight to your pixel lab and put in the value image size you have your width 2880 as your width and then this as your height this is a perfect size for your 25 by 15 feet banner all right and if you want it portrait you can come on and make it portrait okay let's say your client tells you to create a business card for their business and then you don't have any idea of the size you are meant to create or a standard business card size all right one of the things you have to do also is to illustrate your google your google chrome go search for business card size in pixel 
standard business card size in pixel. So you can see it, you have 1050 by 600. 1050 by 600, copy, and then also this, you have 600, copy. Then you go straight to your pixel lab and it builds the figures. You should know that 1050 will be the width and 600 is going to be the height. This is a standard business card in pixel. And the next also, let's say for instance, the client tells you, uh, I want to, want to create a wedding IP. And you don't know how to go about making the calculation and measurements to use. So what I'm going to do is to go to Chrome again. Standard wedding IV. So as you can see, the, rest, the standard size for a wedding invitation is 5 inches by 7 inches. Okay, let me show you how to calculate inches on your smartphone for your designs. Okay, let's say for instance, 25 inches to pixel. So I'll go with the first recommendation, pgsconverter.com. Click on it. Alright, so I'm going to convert the 15 inches to pixels. I have 1440. Copy it, put it on pixel lab. And then let me do another inches, 10 inches, 960 pixels. So that's 15 by 10 inches. You have it right there. That's that about converting pixels, inches to pixels. Then you can check out other sites. Um, I also make use of unitconverter.net. It's very good. I recommend it a lot. So that's that about converting feet and inches to pixels. So once you are done, you go to Basin Lab and you save your in designer's image. Alright, then you change from custom to ultra. Then you save automatically straight to your gallery. And when you save to your gallery, don't forget always send your designs to your clients as whatsapp documents as documents don't send as a normal image let me show you how that is done so you click on the clip icon right here you click on document then you would click on browse other documents click on files and go to your image click on three dash go to image then go to your pixel lab folder then import the design that's how to send your files as documents. See you in my next video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to name your designs before sending them to your clients. This is not professional at all. There's a better way you can make it and name your designs. Name every file, every image before sending to your clients. Alright, goodbye for now. Thank you for watching.